Hey, all sweet people. I'm Robbie here once again from Matisium. Maybe you know from my previous video that I had proved uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. And normally we know 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That is very normal and we know everybody that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. But I had proved in my previous video that uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. It is very exciting and uh, that video became very popular. Now I'm gonna to prove once again that 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 through a completely different, exciting and funny way. Stay tuned with me and uh, enjoy 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. In order to prove that 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, I'm writing this equation. What we know? 1 plus 1. I'm writing this 1 plus 1 is equal to, I'm keeping this one here and you know I'm writing this one as like as square root 1 because we know square root 1 is equal to 1 that is no change then I am keeping this one as same plus this one I'm writing as like as is whole root this root is 1 here and minus 1 times minus 1 why this is supported by that line we know minus 1 times minus 1 is equal to plus 1 that we know right minus 1 times minus 1 is equal to plus 1 this formula I am using exactly here my square root minus 1 minus 1 this minus 1 minus 1 is equal to plus 1 that we know now what I am doing is this one remains same plus I'm just splitting this square root over minus 1 over minus 1 square root minus 1 times square root minus 1 right this is um, nothing to tricks here now this one is same I'm not changing this one at all plus we know one thing maybe you know from your uh, this is a little bit advanced advanced knowledge that there is a number so called imaginary number and imaginary number and this imaginary number is um, denoted by i and this is not simple i this is in mathematics so called imaginary number and this imaginary number is equal to i square i is equal to square root minus 1 this imaginary number is equal to this one square root minus 1 see square root minus 1 here is equal to i that means square root minus 1 is equal to i i can write right imaginary number this part belongs to imaginary number and this part also belongs to imaginary number so this is i and this is multiplication sign and this is another i this is imaginary number i'm repeating once again what i'm getting next line one plus i times i is equal to i square hmm. and again we know i square is equal to minus one this is formula number one and this is formula number two let us consider okay my pen is almost empty so i times i is equal to i square and we know from this formula here i square is equal to minus one so what i am getting one plus i equivalent to minus one hmm. this one i am getting still now next line is c one plus minus is equal to minus one right so 1 minus 1 is equal to we know is equal to 0 that means this 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 I can write finally 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 that I finally prove here look at here is not it exciting how can we explain I mean of course I did not um, follow the ground rules of mathematics somewhere in, in my entire calculation <laughs> 
So it is really difficult to find out where I did not follow the ground rules of calculation because um, I'm nanotechnologist, nanotechnologist. Sometimes I do fun with my friends by using this type of calculation and some of my friends, their IQ level is pretty much high and I just make them puzzled by using this calculation. They even did not find where is the calculation. They were, they, they were completely puzzled and they were saying, man, <laughs> we cannot find the mistake why did you make the mistake but be sure somewhere i made the mistake not mistake i would like to say i skip the ground rules of mathematics if you are really interested where i did not f uh, follow the ground rules of mathematics or where i uh, neglect the rules of mathematics you can uh, just find it from here and write it in the comment section i will discuss it over there because this is one of the hard uh, mathematics that you cannot find the wrong thing where i made the mistake if you are really genius you will find the mistake be sure but at least you can try please look at here i'm telling once again one plus one normally we know one plus square root minus one because this square root is equal to one there is no change and i can say one is equal to minus one minus one multiplication because minus one minus one is equal to one that is one here minus one minus one here i can expand this line into this line i'm just splitting this square root over minus one this square root again splitting minus one there is no tricks be sure this one line two line and three lines this three sentence there is no tricks or no mistake be sure i'm giving you guarantee according to the mathematics square root minus one is equal to imaginary number that is denoted by i and this square root is again denoted by i and they are related by multiplication okay i times i is equal to i square and according to the mathematics we know i square is equal to minus one so i can write i square is equal to minus one see one plus minus one that means one minus one this is minus one this is plus one one minus one is equal to zero that means I start from here 1 plus 1 I can write it 1 plus 1 that is equivalent to 0 so somewhere I did not follow the ground rules of mathematics but I'm making sure that this is really hard to find out where I did not follow the rules <laughs> so I'm sure 99 point person so far I know 99.9% .9 people cannot find out where I did not follow the ground rules of mathematics here. If you are truly genius, you will find out and you will be 0.1% that guy, very lucky guy. So it's, I'm giving you kind of task. If you wanted to, if you want to find the mistake, please have a look here. Keep some time, one day, two day, three day, ask your friend, ask your teacher and try to find out the problem. It is not very easy, I'm giving. <laughs> I'm telling one more thing. Mm, please don't uh, take this type of calculation very seriously because I'm making this video to make you just fun, nothing else. So please don't uh, take it seriously. And um, if you have any kind of objection or question, please discuss, discuss it in the comment section. I'm not expert, but I will discuss because this is the world of uh, exchanging knowledge. I can exchange my knowledge with you because I don't know everything. Maybe you know better than me. I'll discuss with you and I will learn from you as well or you can learn from me. So it's time to discuss in comment section. Where is the mistake? Let's come in the comment section. We'll discuss there. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. And um, I have to give you one more announcement that I already make another kind of video that I prove 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 <laughs> this is another exciting video you can have a look in my uh, channel there is one more exciting video 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 I made it according to the ma mathematics and I made it only for the fun not only this but also I prove one more video that one dollar one dollar is equal to one cent what we know that one dollar is equal to 100 cent but here in this video i prove that one dollar is equal to one cent according to the mathematics here the, as usually i skip some ground rules of mathematics and i tell my audience where i made the mistake please Allah, <laughs> find it and tell me if you can so you can have a look these two videos in my um, channel i already put the link in the description have a look
yeah finally thank you so much uh, for watching my video and if you are not subscriber of me please subscribe my channel it will help me a lot to inspire me uh, to make qualityful video thank you so much and uh, see you on next week with a new exciting and different video bye bye